Now, you may or may not see me nice and clear, but this is my golf lesson with Ian, and we're working on getting back into golf after our long layoff. So, a big thing here is that what I'd like to ensure is that we're looking from the front view for a couple of uh, for golf shots, and then we're then again we're looking from the back view for other golf shots. Now, I'm not sure if I'm in any of these video cameras, but that's okay. It's all part of the gig. So, big part of what we're doing here is just watching Ian warm up, hit a few shots there in there, and we'll get going. And a nice crisp uh, end of April. So a big part with golf is, particularly with the layoff, would be around when you haven't played in ages, the timing of the, of the shots isn't going to be great. And these would be uh, kind of traits that you'd be familiar with. The timing, or you get familiar with, the timing of the shots won't be great. So your ball flight will be a bit all over the place at times. Also, the swing will feel a bit off. The movement will be a bit off. So you'll have all these different things that are off in comparison to where you were a number of months ago. So our big thing here is that we're talking about is that with the golf swing, if we simplify it down, we're going to swing it to the top, the lower half then return, hit and finish. Now, there's a lot going on in that to say we should do X, Y, and Z. But the main part, if, if, if you stepped away from the, uh, the, the shot for a second there, Ian, and we, we talked about making really good practice swings. So if you swing the club to the top of your backswing, and we'll say, make it swing to the top of the back swing, stop for a sec, then turn and swing and finish. All right, so with that type of movement there, that's, that's kind of looking at the whole movement of the swing. So again, if you made a couple of practice swings around that type of technique, and that, that's just a drill for just finishing the whole swing. So what you're feeling there is you swing the club to the top of your back swing, then you're finishing. Now, with the finishing, turning, hitting, and finishing. But if we summarize it, as I mentioned earlier, you swing it to the top, then finish. All right, so that's nicely done as well. Now, to support that type of movement as well, if, if, we, grab, if we grab a couple of bits here, so if I pop the club up to your shoulders here, Ian, because not alone just the swing, we want to get their body and everything else moving as much as we can and coordinate stuff as much as you can. So if we pop the club up to your shoulders, and we'll do the same back to target, then turn your hips fully onto your left side. All right, now, you may not see this, but when you're making that move, your right knee is, is straightening, or sorry, your right leg is straightening. So what we might do there is that we get set up there, little tilt, no, no, let's start again. And we've got a little, yeah, a little tilt to your right. And we're gonna lean a small bit more to your right side as well. Yeah, there we go. So if we go 90 degrees to your right, up. Yeah, excellent. And then turn your hips fully onto your left side. Lovely. So this is just practicing the body movements. Again, in 90 degrees. Then turning fully all the way onto your left side. Lovely. A couple more of those again. Back to target. Lovely. Excellent. And then two more, two more, two more. Five is the magic number. Yep. Yeah. Lovely. One more for the team. And then back again. Excellent. Excellent. Much better. Now we'll focus now. We'll just pop the club between your lower half here. And uh, do so again is just do a small little turn to your to your right, yeah, and then fully onto your left. So these movements here are, are the, the type of movements that you'd make in your swing. The purpose for doing these types of exercises is to help with isolating the movement. One, but the second part is that you can work on building the habit of making these movements without uh, having to think about it because a big part of all of our swings are is that we want to reduce down the amount of stuff that's flying around our head we need to do this 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 and this this and particularly when you haven't played in ages we got all the stuff flying around our head that we need to do this 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 and this so a big part of it is, is that we just try and get get into the habit of doing as many things as possible uh, and start getting the habit back meaning that if you if we went back to that the initial initial swing we're practicing we're doing again so Swing it to the top of the back swing, and then finish. Lovely. Same thing in there. Swing it to the top of the back swing again, and then finish. And even and and part about this scene, if we if we call that a feel good practice swing, so you're swinging to the top of your back swing and finishing swinging to the top of your back. Swing, you, what you begin to feel or what you can feel, and this is not about preempting it, but this is something we'd want to work towards in your own mind is that the feeling of this feels right to me. So if you feel that the movement is up the top of the backswing, that feels good. 
because the speed of it, you felt like you turned properly and finished balanced. If that feels good, you kind of the club kind of hit in the right spot. You should, you're, you'd like to hit it in. Well, that would, that feels good. So, um, even right now, I mean, a big part of what I would be saying to people is that, is uh, as the golf stuff starts to open, lots of this activity where you start to program your body or st start to work on the habit of doing good things. Rather than getting too much into the, to the, the technical parts of why the golf ball's gone all over the place or I miss hit that, miss hit that, a lot of that's to do with the habit isn't as refined as it was. So be, if we can be more mindful about not kind of get stuck into the, so many different things that can happen during the swing or there's so many different feedback sensors that we have in our body that you don't focus too much on those because it's so easy to do. Uh, as you know, we're out playing golf and then we hit one great shot. Yeah. I crack the crow, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. And then focus too much on that and you find out you've got some wicked habit after developed and then, you know. So, <laughs> so Grant, let's hit a few again there. So even if it goes left, right or centre, big part of what we're going to talk about here is just making the swing, hitting and finishing balanced rather than trying to overcomplicate it with, I'm going to start my swing, do this on the way down. Again, just again, feeling the swing, just make a swing. Nicely done there. Couple more there now Ian, and then we'll, we'll change weapons. Hey, as we were saying there, don't, don't pay too much attention to those fellas. Yeah, yeah one, try one more, yeah, one more, that's again. Same thing there, even if you just stepped away after that though, it just made a couple of feel good practice swings. Again, swing it to the top, yeah, and that's a good line there to work on there where you can feel like you're pushing the club straight back along, up to the top, yeah, and all the way through. Good finish again, nice may swing. Lovely, all right, let's apply that, hit one more. All right, that was just a bit quick in comparison, not to worry. All right, let's change clubs. All right, so what we're gonna talk about here at this part then would be, uh, We'll go back to a rotation exercise there for a sec. So the, ma the main part with this is that we're talking about here is that when you set up there, you've got your shoulders nicely tilted to your right and it's back to target. Yeah, and then rotating your hips fully through and finishing nice and balanced on your left side. So the important part with this is again is 90 degrees to your right, then turning your hips onto your left side. So the whole part about these types of drills as well, it fits into the making a swing and turning, hitting, and finishing balance onto your left side. So we're practicing a lot of the routine uh, of, or the habit routine of the swing. One more for the team then, again, so again, keeping that right leg nice and flexed. Yeah, woohoo. Yeah. So we're gonna we go to this one here again now. So again, setting up there, leg nice and flexed, bit of weight to your right side again. Yeah, so small turn to your right. Yeah, lovely. And fully rotating onto your left side. So try and feel like your two hips are finishing, facing the target, and you can look up nice and straight at the target then. Yep, yeah. again, small turn, yep. One more, excellent. All right, so we got a few things here we're gonna work on here around coordination. So, as I was talking earlier on about the, the overall swing, make a swing, hit and finish. Let's try and refine some of the stuff in the minute to, in, in the middle to help with hitting the ball a bit straighter. So we got two things with straight shots. We got the club face and the swing path or the direction that you swing the club away and the club at the, at the ball and what the club face is doing when it hits. So ideally, if we could get your swing direction or swing path and the club face pointed in the same direction when you're hitting the ball, happy days, straight shots. No, it doesn't always work out that way. So our thing is that what we'd like to do is to try and promote <laughs> as much as, as, as we can. So if we reduce down, instead of making it, uh, the, 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 the focus on a full swing, 
if we reduce it down to a, a, a half swing where it's slower, it's softer, and it's much easier then to, to feel stuff. So if we just use this rubber tee here for a second, so, and we're gonna help, you can use this pole here as well. I'm gonna grab another pole as well. So these are about, let's say six inches to, to uh, six or seven inches, six, about six inches apart, parallel. So our goal here would be, and this helps, and just having a couple of poles like this here helps your eyes with focusing on direction back and forth. So ideally, the start here with this drill is that, you jump off there for a second, I'll show you this here for a second. So we start off with this drill here, is that we'd set up here, and uh, with your, we'll say with your left arm, push it back to nine, about, about halfway, we'll say to nine o'clock. From here then, we bring the club back down to where you started. So again, back to here, and back down to where you started. Now this whole purpose with this is just to kind of get that train to where you started, again. And because what we'd like to do is get in the habit of getting the club face back to where you started. So we start with that part for the half swing drill. So we'll do five of those. So we'll make a very short back swing. And if you can then get the club to stop where you start. Yeah, lovely. And then stopping there to start. Lovely. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So you get the club face there to st stop then in, in the hitting area. Lovely. And again, this is all around creating good habits, getting back into the habit of uh, getting the club face back to square. Yeah, and then back down to the start. Two more. Right, lovely. Now, so our drill here, what we'll do is we'll use the tee instead of hitting the golf ball for a second. And so if I could just, if you want to jump off for a second, I'll show you my little drill. So we want to get in the habit of, I was talking about swing path and getting the swing direction going in the right, in, in swing direction going in the right path, we say, or the path. And so, so if you set up here, nicely done, as you would normally. So starting off your swing, pushing that ball away from here then, hitting the tee and finishing. So just for five shots here, we're just gonna get used to starting to swing off nice and straight, and a nice and straight path. So it's about six inches behind the tee. So you just push that ball back, hitting the tee and finishing. So let's do that for five goals. <coughs> Let me line up our pellets here. So very similar to what we were doing a couple of seconds ago. Lovely, yep. Again, if you can pop the ball there behind the tee. Get about six inches, yep, lovely. So again, just keeping the club face back, pushing that, pushing that ball straight back, lovely. Hitting the tee, if you can, lovely. So again, keep the swing nice and short. So you're gonna try and keep your left arm to nine o'clock. So left arm, you just push, there you go, lovely. Lovely, oh yeah, yeah, nicely done. Again, we're just pushing that ball back. Nicely done, okay. So if we did that first, the, the first drill we did, yeah, one more, one more, one more, yep. Nine o'clock, lovely, yeah. So if we went back to our first drill there. So again, what we're doing there again is just getting your left arm, pushing it back to about here, and then hitting, and hitting the tee and finishing there, yeah, lovely. Oh, sorry, stopping at the tee, sorry, so stopping, yep. So you bring the club back to where, yep. So you can slow it down there, make it a bit shorter. Yeah, same thing again, just a little shorter backswing. Yeah, so it doesn't have to be as aggressive. The whole part would be is just keep it nice and handy, nice and easy, yeah. One more there. Grant. Okay, so pop the club back up to your shoulders there. We'll do we'll do a few of these again. So again, sitting up there, nice and tall. Little tilt to your right. Yeah. Again, back to target. Then turning fully onto your left. Lovely. Same thing in there. Back to target. 
turning fully onto your left. And you, so a lot of this is, I mean, I, I would recommend with practicing is that short bursts of five repetitions of lots of different things. So rather than getting too much into the ball after ball after ball after ball after ball type of practice routine, uh, five different things. And our main, and the whole purpose for all of this is that it keeps the whole body turning so you're not effectively just working on one part. We're gonna still work as much as possible on the overall part. And, and this supports, again, as you said, a lot of around, uh, around the repetition of the swing, of the movement through the swing. Yeah, nice, nicely done. Small turn. Excellent. Two more. Lovely, one more there now. Excellent, yeah, nicely done. So, if we, uh, if we get rid of the, the tee there for a sec, and we'll, we'll hit some golf balls now. So, we'll, we'll, we'll take our drill, half swing drill, and ideally, with the, with the, what we're looking for, our feedback we're looking for here is that the ball's going straight, lovely, uh, t straight to the target, and the timing of the, of the hit is as nice and as precise as you can get it. So, by softening, I describe softening as gripping the club, is just making movement easy, so it's, it's not, your intention is not to hit it very hard. It's very much a case of a very soft hit. So you take the 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 the, um, uh, the intention of hitting it hard out of it if you can. So we'll call it by swinging it softer, easier. The main goal would be is that it's just a short swing, and it's a nice hit, and it doesn't have to be a full follow through or anything. Just everything just a nice hit. So yeah, we'll keep going there now. So again, the main focus overall would be keeping the club face square through the hitting area. And that's a nice speed there, no eight. Yeah, nicely done. Alright, it's a little left it says it. That's alright, what's yep. How does that feel and how does all that all of that information sound to you? It makes sense. It slows it down, it's still going as far. The, the, the other part here would be part of, particularly when you get back into it, is that as I was, I was talking earlier on uh, from the start, is that we, when you start hitting again from not playing in ages, the club face can be all over the yeah. place. And if your club face isn't is, is, as, as in the, is it, we call it square or in, in, the, in the same position that you started off with, sometimes it can be, you get from whatever which way we've been swinging the club or how you hit it, the club face can be a little bit more it can be a little bit more loft in it than it would be at the start, we say. That can cause it not to go as far. So even with the, the half swing and the shorter swing, it's much easier to get the club back to where you started. So we're just, again, this is working on good habits. Good, generate good habits. And, and, and as they say, a mixture of half swing again, yeah. That's something good there. Nice ball flight there, well done. Nice and on Ian. Got a hit now in the, same, in, in the direction that you're setting up to aim. Excellent, nicely done. So, let's go back over the, the whole part of it, or the initial part again. So if you pop the club up to your shoulders, little tilt to your right, keep a bit of weight on your right knee, keep that knee nice and flexed, in 90 degrees to your right, then rotating your hips fully onto your left side. Yeah, we'll do another four, back to target. And the important part that I find with doing this uh, uh, full body drill is that 
when you're playing, you don't have to focus on, I must turn my shoulders. If you take that, um, that part out of your mind for starting your swing or any part of, the initial, or part of your initial backswing. The reason I mention that is that I come across this quite a bit where golf girls can focus too much on their shoulder movement and start to do a shoulder turn too soon or activate that part of your body too soon. What happens then is that when uh, you get to the top of your backswing, they, you can over rotate the shoulders. You can see the body's tilted a bit to the left. I come across that quite a bit. So to offset that, I'd certainly would be recommending when you're working on this drill is not to kind of over, is to over, is to apply this to hitting the ball. The main part for the exercise that we're doing here is to, is the application part would be the feeling of 90 degrees to your right. And then the hip turn is encouraging that part. So the second part that I come across a, a good bit when golfers haven't played in ages is that which part of the body isn't uh, as coordinated with the other part. And I find it's the lower half tends to be the part that's left behind. Uh, so I'd focus, a lot of my chat there would be I'd focusing on when we're working away in these, these turning exercises is to, is to ensure that there's a good rotation onto your left side and you feel balanced when you finish on your left side. So again, small little turn. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, nicely done. One more there. Excellent, so you feel nice and balanced and solid on your left side. That feeds into the whole swing. So if we go back to a full swing, so back to the practice swing, which would be swinging the club to the top of your back swing. And then finish, lovely. And again, nice speed, it feels good to you. What feels good, feels good. So again, just pushing that club straight back, lovely. And again, as you're hitting there, feel your whole body, your hips in particular, turning and finishing balanced onto your left side. Yeah, lovely. Excellent. Same thing. Again, so you're making the swing as the club hits then. Feel your hips turning and finishing balanced. Lovely. Same thing again. Excellent. One more for the team then. <laughs> so my, my emphasis is not to focus too much on on, on, on a specific part. We're talking about the whole movement with, with the feet, with the practice swing, the part with the practice swing is that the more frequently you make that swing, the more likely those parts will move together when you're hitting the ball. Then we'd have that half swing drill there to help with, with making it, with help with working on, it's, it's, there was parts of there where we're pushing the ball away, hitting the tee and finishing. Uh, that's around uh, encouraging a, a, a more accurate takeaway. Uh, and then we, the other part there about making that half swing, getting the club to stop at the ball, that helps them with, with, with getting the feel or generating the habit of getting the club to, start, to stop or not stop, but keep the club face square at impact. So with all those different drills, I mean, you mightn't feel them all right now, but the more you practice that activity, the more it becomes a little bit easier, a little bit more natural. Most of the time when we start thinking, when we start doing the various activities, lots of information flying around your mind, which is fine. Uh, the, the, it's, but it, it's trying to keep it to the summarized version rather than too much detail and, and flying down the rabbit holes, thinking of, I'm, I'm overthinking this or doing that. And it, it's trying to keep it to a summarized portion, portion, but at the same time, it's quite effective where with the half finger here and there. Another couple of drills there I'd like to show you as well is around coordination, if, if, if it was just swap spots for a second, is, is, is around the, um, is the left arm and right arm swinging. So this can help again as well with keeping the club face squarer or stronger, or you call it, uh, building up a, a, a better impact area with the club face and, uh, and your swing. So if you set up as normal, if you pop the right hand off for the sec uh, and make a swing, and as you're hitting that rubber tee and finishing, try and feel if you can, left arm and club is, is, is in the square spot when you finished. So we're kind of repeat that five times, then swap over to the setup again, then swap over to the right arm. And again, make a swing, straight back again. And very similar, try and feel uh, getting, your, getting back to where you started. Now, you may feel that it doesn't feel that great when you're making it. It might feel that your body's all over the place when you're doing it, which is, which is normal. 
uh, the purpose for these types of drills is around coordination. Uh, you don't necessarily, necessarily have to hit golf balls with it all of a sudden, but certainly I would be recommending uh, this type of drill to help with uh, coordinating. Uh, it, it can be sometimes that you find lot of, lots of golfers might practice this with the wedges. Um, I think with a nine iron or, 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 or an eight iron would be fine because the clubs are they're, sh they're short enough and not too heavy. And again, the purpose around that drill, these drills are all to do with uh, coordination. So let's try a few there. And, and also with it as well, if you find that the full swing, the coordination of it is all over the place, you can reduce down the length of it. The half swing back, half swing through. So again, setting up as normal, two hands in the club initially, then pop the right hand off. So that just gets you in the right position or in the initial position. And yeah. Again, so you make your making a swing. And again, just the rubber T is, is the, it would be the target. So keep it nice and simple, nice and easy. Yeah, again. All right. So now with the next one, now as you as your as your left arm will hit the rubber, sorry, as you try and hit the rubber tee, try and feel that you're making a good full full movement onto your left side as well. So you get a full rotation of the hips, so you're not hanging back. Yeah. And even if it goes all over the place, that's fine. That's fine because the more you practice this in, the, the more accurate you become. Yeah. So let's swap over to the right hand. And also as well, after about three, maybe five swings, your arm might get tired. Or it might even happen after three swings, so the minute your arm starts to get tired, swap hands. So again, take the, le take the left hand off on this occasion, yeah. All right, let's soften that swing now, let's slow it down a little bit. Just nice and handy, nice easy back swing. Lovely. And as you hit the rubber tee now, try and get your body to turn, feel like your hips are turning a bit more onto your left side, so yeah, nice and handy on the way back. Nicely done. Same thing in there now. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, so if we went back to our main swing there again, so if we made a few practice swings there again, so you're swinging to the top of the back swing, pause for a sec, two hands. No, no, not necessarily. Just again, we go back to the full swing. So making a back swing, and as you hit then, finishing, lovely. Couple more again, again we're making a back swing, a little pause for a sec, then finish. Lovely, same thing again. Lovely, same thing in there now. Excellent, all right. So let's hit a few shots there now again. So we've done a lot of activity around moving, 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 plenty of practice swinging, without hitting, to, without going into Ball after ball after ball after ball. So big thing around what I'm talking about here is, is coordinating and just getting back into moving, swinging and hitting rather than getting too specific. On, so your feedback is not just the golf shot. A lot of it's around moving, um, uh, 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 what, uh, 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 moving uh, coordinating, practice swinging, hitting a few balls. But it's very much a case of that type of practice format where there's repetition, 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 hit a few shots. The repetition I'm talking about now would be the full body exercise, the um, hip turn exercise, the various practice swings to try and feel a different activity. And even if it feels a bit mad, or it feels, I'm not really getting anything out of this, the more you practice that, the better the returns you get out of it. Because with all of the activity we're talking about is trying to be accurate with it, rather than trying to just start swinging willy-nilly. I mean, there's all accuracy around, even though it's a summarized version. Yeah. How does all that sound? Oh, it makes sense. I think I've been sitting on the couch for four months. <laughs> so, I know, even going for a walk, my back and legs have been feeling tight. So, doing all this rotation is completely new again. Right. So, we had a few full shots now again. So, setting up as normal.
Ian, just to go back over what we we're talking about there, so we have, we have a number of things to the swing. Now, and this can be applied to lots of different golfers as well, the same type of activity, because our, our main activity is making a swing to the top of the back swing, hitting and finishing balanced onto your left side. And that's, that's the whole, and you can get more into the different parts of your swing if it needs be. But we're just talking about a sunrise version of making a swing, turning, hitting, and finishing balanced. So by practice swinging that method, that helps with repeating a similar action. That's a really important part to, to stress about repeating a similar action. I mean, make a swing, turn, hitting, and finishing balanced. So the part, so, but within that, then we need the accuracy of our swing path and somewhat the tough is to be accurate hitting the ball. And that's where we have our two drills for the half swing drills where we started off there with the first one by just making a half swing back to here, hitting, uh, uh, sorry, so we make a back swing and finishing uh, at the start. So you bring the club back to the start, make a half swing, back to the start, make a half swing, back to the start. So by practicing that a number of times, that just gets the club back, back. And the more you practice that, the more accurate it becomes. Then moving that on then to the, to the drill where we have the ball behind the AT. And you can do this at home or anywhere if you have a bit of a, a, bit, of a, a, a bit of a patch of grass where all we're doing here is setting up, uh, putting a couple of poles to help you with alignment. And you're just pushing that ball, left arm, push the ball. And this drill is great because it keeps the initial part of the movement, keeps the club face square, helps with that. Keeps the club face on, on, on a good takeaway path. And from there then, just hitting and finishing halfway. So five of those as well, and the magic number would be five, setting up again, just pushing that ball back, back to nine o'clock, and finishing all the way onto the left side, five of those. And then, of course, the proof is in the pudding. Then setting up and then just hitting a couple of shots where just a hassling back. Not as accurate as I'd like it to be. <laughs> but, uh, uh, but hitting a couple of shots then with that drill, to try and get yourself a nice crisp hit, where it's just getting yourself back. And the timing of everything is wonderful. And that tight again, so that's the half swing, and that helps again with takeaway and getting the club face back down to the start. Then we have the, co the coordination as we're talking about, which is, uh, which we're talking about here, setting up as normal, pop the right hand off, making a back swing, hitting and finishing balanced, five of those. And then we have the, the right hand again, make your back swing, finishing nice and balanced. The important part is that you get in the habit of finishing balanced here on your left side. So after, because intermittently throughout the exercises and drills, I always pop into doing a few of these here where you've got five, five of back to target, turning and finishing balance. The important part here is feeling the hips and how you rotate balance onto your left side. Again, back to target. Five of those fellas. Then five of these, where a small little turn here. And finishing balance onto your left side. And all these parts are, these are parts are during the swing. So when you pick up the club then, you're more than likely feeling back to the start again. After all that activity and work is that you make a swing, more than likely going to repeat that whole activity and they, they, so because as i was talking about during this during during the session would be it's so easy when we haven't played in ages for the body just not connected or just not coordinated to finish all the moves and when one part of the body is not moving with the other parts you take you get just inconsistent hits and stuff so by the repetition of all the stuff as much as you can frequently and often gets the whole body and the different things moving together so the goal would be uh keep it summarized and then work on some of the detail with the half swing and as you get as the habits start to regenerate and you get back in the habit of doing stuff you become more accurate with swing pack club face and putting it all together that's the main thing